Hey guys, Jazz the Gamer here, and I'm back with another episode. Let's see here. So, I got half of this circle done here. Whoops. Let's get back on top of our little frame. So, half the circle done here, which is this half on this side of here. Sun is setting, so we're going to go to sleep soon. Um, but let me show you how far out it goes. Well, yeah. Let's take a walk over this way. And I did do that... 11 by 5, I continue with that, I seem to like it. I actually need to fix this one, because I remember I said I was going to extend it. So, I believe it was this one here that I was going to extend like that. Yeah, that should work, even though this is a little bigger. So that does make the circle uneven on that side, because for some reason that side, it kind of worked itself out interesting why didn't it work itself out over here and I need to get torches and put the torches all along this path here because I don't want anything spawning on top of it but for now let's go to sleep there we go Ooh. all right so now we're gonna go the other direction this way Oh, and you see I cleared out all the trees that were in the middle. It actually did not take as long as I thought it was going to. It was actually pretty fast. Um, so this stretches out all the way over to this farm over here. This is the first farm when we first started this world. All these watermelons were basically carrots and um, potatoes and wheat. And the same with the... What is this stuff called? Beets over there also. It was just carrots, potato, and wheat. And then when I moved out the carrots and potato and the wheat, the wheat farm is over there. Carrots and potato farm is over there in that direction. Uh, Sinalupe replaced this with pumpkins, and she replaced it with beets on this side because she needs a lot of pumpkins and beets, I guess. And the sugar cane is still here. I uh, don't have any plans to moving it just yet, but it will move eventually because you see how close this is to the farm over here I don't want it that close so it will be moved and we'll do something else with the pumpkins but let's go to the very top of it right now and take a look to see how what it looks like from the top and I found another there's a blue which guy over there so I have a bunch of uh, bunch of these llamas all around that I need to figure out how I'm going to um, deal with them I guess Let's get something that is really loud. Let me check the volume for the food. Creatures, blocks. Which one is that? I have no idea. Maybe it's just my headset and it's like super loud. Back to the game. Let's bring that down just a little bit. I think that is better. All right, let's go to the top. And do I have... Dirt? Nope, I do not have dirt. And, oh, here we go. Let's go. That was the wrong block. Whatever. That should be high enough. So, there's our circle right there. Lining around. See, that's where it is right there. Five... Yeah, right there is where it kind of messed up. Um, and this was just extra long, so I wonder why it didn't work out. I must have miscounted somewhere. Although it looks like I... Oh, no, that's right. Yeah, everything's all good. No need to worry. Okay, so now next is to do the same thing. <laughs> Look at that llama down there. And that guy over there. Same thing on that side over there. And I'll do that right now. And I will be right back. Alright. So um, I finished the square. Let's uh, take a look at it. Let's get some dirt. There. Got to repair all of my tools. Not all of them. But you know the ones I've been using for this project. Let's get up here. So, yep. Actually, let's get a little bit higher. 
get a really good bird's eye view of this circle we have going on here. There we go. Yep, there goes our circle all the way around right there. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to build the walls. So I need to determine, um, one, where the base will be at, the, the floor of this, um, this building, the foundation, we will call it. And I'm not sure if I want to bring it down to where the sea level is at, which is at 63, or keep it here. Because what, well, let me go back up, let's see how many blocks up that is, actually. So this is at Y74, so it's 11 blocks high. Now what I could do is just leave it like that, leave the base here, and then start all of the construction and the storage at the bottom of what I have planned for. Because this is going to be kind of like a cathedral type thing, but it's not actually a cathedral, it's just a place where, um, you know, you do your mob farming for the flesh because right now we have a zombie spawner down there but it's a zombie spawner that turns the zombies into drowns and um and then yeah you kill them and get the gold and loot like that but we're going to make it so that it's not an xp farm anymore the um Zombies fall straight down and die, and then we collect their drops. That's all that we're going to use it for. So, that's why this will be the base here. And then the entrance will be on this side, because it's facing the water. And it will be like a walkway entrance that leads up into... Um, this entrance will be right here. But the walkway, interesting, that will be later. Right now it's just the walls getting the frames down so that we know what we're, we are working with. And what I'll probably do is go 10 up and 10 down. That's going to be the first... Actually, no. Yeah, so the it'll be 20 up from here. No, 10 up. We know, we'll figure it out as we go along. But let's do one of the walls now. Let's get our material. I'm not going to need this for a while. And there. And we'll start on the side that I lit up, which is this side here I put torches down. So we'll start on that side over there. Get all of this stone here. There we go. That's good. And we'll put this sword in there. And take, uh, leave that there. And yeah, and do that. Put that there, like that. Okay. So let's start. We'll just start at the front right here. I uh, won't worry about making the entrance yet. We'll change that around later. But basically, this is all I'm going to do fill in everything here. So this whole row will be one part that we're filling in. Uh, just do that too. So that's one block there. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Like that. And boom. Oops. And then from over here, we'll do the same thing. But I won't jump up as high. And I don't know if this way is actually faster, but because I have to do this whole thing, but it seems like I'm making progress because it's a short thing and I just complete these short little goals and it makes this goal, makes our end goal seem to arrive a lot sooner. That. That. I have all that right there that I need to collect. It might incorporate into this build here. So that was 10. So that was 10 right now. What we're going to do is yeah, take a jump down and step back. 
and see how high that is. So that's 10 up. So if I do that there, like this, and I look up, I think that's high enough. 10 is high enough. Yeah, so then put this here. All this is just temporary stone. It will be replaced with the actual blocks we're going to build with. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. easy to place. Counted, maybe. All right, guys. So one, huh? I didn't realize I did not complete the top of that, anyways. Oh, well, it's coming down anyway, so it don't matter. So there goes one wall, I guess completed, and now we work on the rest. And I will be back as soon as I finish that. Alright, so I finally have the whole base of our little structure here finally built and ready to go. Um, so the next steps are to build the second floor. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in about five or six blocks and now we'll start the walls for the second floor. Um, I wish I had more blocks, I'd go a little higher. Let's use this. I didn't want to use the stone since it's so much faster to break the gravel. I want to see if we can go a little bit higher so we get a better look of our... Whoa. Oh, it's a cloud. Better look of our circle here. Um, but the cloud is in our way. It sh how big is this cloud so that it, it will move? Yeah, I like this view from up here also. It would look better if this cloud was in our way. Let's see if we can jump a little to see. It's moving slowly. It's almost there and there we go. Look at that view over there. Nice. Watermelons are growing nicely. Uh, yeah, so it's, uh, yeah, it's, it, it's a circle. It's, it's as good as a circle as can be in a blocky world. Alright, so let's go down. And start the uh, second floor so you can see what I'm talking about here. How many blocks did I use? Huh, I use a lot more than I thought. Okay, now our shovel. There we go. Alright, and let's start on this side over here. This is also going to be where our, our door is at. Uh, I'm not ready to knock out the door yet. Or maybe I am. Let's just do it now. So this is going to be our door here. And it's going to be a big piston door. Uh, like that. Um take out more on each side so one two three four one two three four yeah so it's gonna be um, a piston door and it's gonna be wait one two three oh it can't be five wide though huh I mean it could be five wide but We'll figure that out later. Let's do the second floor. Pillar up. 
so there we go so it's gonna be here just like this let's go on this side here so this will be one two three four and five just like that one two three four five and we'll go in one more six because this will be where the wall starts going up and I do two right was that two blocks I put down one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten like that so the same thing ten blocks high ouch but we're gonna come in five blocks and that will start the ceiling just like that and let's put this here hey I don't want to throw blocks out come on there we go um yeah so I don't need to finish the rest I'll just this is you already know what we're gonna do we're just gonna go in some and do the same thing again and go up so I'm gonna finish that and I'll be right back all right so as you can see we have a couple more um, layers done and we have one the bottom floor second and third done but there's actually not going to be any floors it's just going to cave in at a point at the top um, I'm not exactly sure I didn't measure it out or calculate how many uh, layers there's going to actually be so basically I'm just building on the go uh, but let's see if we can take a little view it's about to be dark but here that's okay there we go so let's go up here so you see how it looks from this angle here I'm still fairly new to this flying thing so uh, bear with me I think I'm going too fast but I think you guys get a pretty good idea let's go up a little higher there we go nice that's it right there so let's take a little tour from up above to see what everything else looks like here oh my gosh I'm going so fast and it's not loading <laughs> there we go okay load I want to run into anything you know some zombies down there let's go this way and come back around and look well look at these modern houses look at Sin Lupe's house here and B sisters they did a very good job on there let's go by the skyscraper that they're working on right now they have one two three four floors already completed I don't even know how many floors are going to actually build what's this here oh we traveled that a while ago this is this this world is starting to look pretty awesome I'm just gonna fly around and take a look at everything else. There goes the stage. We're gonna look at that stage that Sinalupe did uh, in the next episode because she did a really good job with the additions to it and there's an actual band playing and everything. They even play live music. Psych. She's not that far advanced yet, but she did do a good job in building it. Hey, oh! Hope that skeleton doesn't try to shoot me. But uh, yeah, so. I know there's a bunch of cobblestone right now, but this will be decorated later. I just needed to make sure that I could do what I had envisioned in my head, and I can. So later I will, you know, add uh, the stuff to make it look a lot better. I already see where I did make a mistake. You see how there's like um, an indention there? Whoa, 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 whoa. I did not do that on the second layer, which is okay, I guess. I mean, maybe I'll fix it later. But flying is awesome. Alright guys, uh, so that's what we're going to finish off here for today, for this episode. And I will keep working on it. And like I said, that's going to have to move. Because I, I need to, do, I need to um, build the outer layer of our little um, building here we're going to build. Um, and what this is actually going to be, this is going to be our, our mob drop. Um, station so basically I'm gonna build a mob um, spawner I guess you call it since we're gonna light up everything and make mob spawn in one specific spot and collect their drops and move in all the villagers that we can use that we, that we will be using to trade with yeah 
should be pretty interesting. Uh, mainly, you know, we're going to trade the um, the string, the zombie flesh. I don't think you can trade anything with the, what are they called? The zombie drops? No, I'm pretty sure you can't. And hopefully we'll get some witches so we can get a bunch of um, glowstone and redstone and all that good stuff. Maybe some nice potions. Oh, I think you have to kill them. I think you have to make the actual hit in order to get the potions, probably. Maybe we'll make it a, an XP thing also. I don't know. But until next time, guys, adios. Okay, now adios. I just wanted to see if I can land that um, safely. Ooh, this is nice on the inside. So, I, yeah, you see right here, I kind of made a mistake, I think. Yeah, I did make a mistake because it's double there, but single over there. Hey, this is all a work in progress. You're going to make mistakes sometimes, you know? And there's not even a double at all on this side. Oh, well, adios.